So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make pho at home. Very simple and easy, and it's very delicious. Let's get started. So before we get started, we're going to run to the Asian market, and I'm going to take you guys along. Let's go. First thing we're going to get here is a can of pho, and they only sell it at this market. I haven't seen it anywhere else but here, but it's a great broth. Second on our list is some bean sprouts, which I love. Then we're gonna pick up some bok choy. And I love mushrooms, so I'm gonna pick up some mushrooms because I like them in my soup. For the last ingredient, you gotta get some rice noodles. And I haven't been able to find these at any other store but here. Let's get ready to check out. Now that we got our stuff, it's time to go. Now you need two pots. One of the pots, fill it up with water. Let's get our can opener and open this bad boy up. Now we're going to pour this into our pot. This brand is available at Walmart or Publix or one of your supermarkets. You can buy from there. It's actually just as good. While that is cooking, we are going to prep our ingredients for our soup. Once your water is boiling, you're going to take the rice noodles and you're going to add them into the water. Depending on how much you're making, depends on how much you're going to put in. I'm going to set the timer for eight minutes. My timer has gone off, so now it's time to take these noodles to the sink and drain them. The water almost looks like milk. Now you want to take some water and cool off the noodles with cold water. Not sure why, but that's what it says. This is optional, but I'm going to make three fried eggs to add into the soup, which tastes really well. So if you like eggs, don't be scared to add some eggs. Now I'm going to add some noodles to my bowl. Next, I'm going to add some of these bean sprouts. Then our mushrooms. Then our cut up bok choy. Then our sliced onion. Last, we are going to add our thin sliced ribeye to our soup. And when the broth hits it, it will actually cook the meat. Now I'm gonna take this lime and squeeze it all over everything. And I'm just gonna leave it on the side in the bowl. For this bowl, it's a very more simple bowl. So it just has some rice noodles, some onions, and we're gonna add some of that ribeye steak to it, and that's it. Now it's time to add our broth. And you can see as the broth goes onto it, the steak's starting to cook. We're gonna add our egg on top of it. And this bowl is ready to eat. Now for our last bowl that has more ingredients, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add our broth. Now if you don't want your steak in a medium or a medium well, you can put a paper plate on top or something and let it cook a little bit longer. But as you can see, the meat is being cooked. All right, now that our soup is done, we're gonna try it. So you're gonna take your chopsticks, gotta get your spoon so you get some juice at the same time. Mm hmm really good even though I didn't get any noodles so let's get some noodle 
delicious. If you make this, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you next time.